Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is still forming this shorter term bearish divergence, while Ethereum is retesting this important level to potentially help confirm this breakout, which I'll talk more about later in this video. So, definitely watch to the end. First of all, just giving you a quick update here on the daily Bitcoin chart. And obviously right now, the Bitcoin price is still holding above that 78.6% Fibonacci level at 22.7K, just after we saw that recent bounce from that level a few days ago. So technically speaking, the bullish structure is still intact here on the daily timeframe. We are still technically looking more bullish than bearish. So that 22.7K level is still acting as support here on the daily time frame with heavy resistance expected to be at around 25,000 based on that previous high. And as of right now, just about the only bearish thing to pay attention to here on the daily Bitcoin chart is a bearish divergence forming right now on this chart. And now if you've been watching my videos over the last few weeks, you would know that this was extremely likely to form from the moment we saw that initial pump and the RSI reached extremely overbought territory because now obviously what we are seeing is continued higher highs in the price action while the RSI is forming lower highs which is a bearish divergence but like I also said right back around here these bearish divergences on the daily time frame can continue to form over multiple weeks before eventually they really confirm and begin to play out so just because this is forming right now it doesn't necessarily mean we're due to see an immediate dump or anything like that for example we could continue to see higher highs for perhaps another week or so before this bearish divergence starts having a larger effect on the price of Bitcoin, potentially resulting in a much larger pause from this bullish trend or potentially a correction from the trend. But like I said, overall, we are still technically more bullish than bearish here on the daily time frame. And now if you look at the eight hour Bitcoin chart, we're obviously still seeing this bearish divergence continue to form because we're still seeing higher highs in the price action while the RSI on the eight hour time frame is still forming lower highs. And so this is just a signal in the shorter term telling us that the trend is currently losing bullish momentum in the shorter term. And so at least for now, while this bearish divergence is still intact here on the eight hour time frame, I wouldn't exactly expect a significant amount of bullish momentum and instead most likely a little bit more choppy sideways price action at least in the shorter term. And then when we eventually start to see some higher highs in the RSI while seeing higher highs in the price action, basically canceling out the bearish divergence, then of course, at that stage, we can be more confident that this bearish divergence is over and we're potentially about to begin another leg to the upside if we start to see higher highs in the RSI and higher highs in the price action. But just for now, we're still due to see a bit more of a pause from this bullish trend in the shorter term here. And while the price of Bitcoin has been playing out this short-term pause from the bullish trend, the price has mostly been chopping around these areas of support and resistance. First of all, we have this level of support sitting at around 22 and a half thousand. And now we have this level of support, which was previous resistance sitting closer towards 23.3K. And as for short-term resistance to pay attention to based on this previous high and also the latest latest local high in the price of Bitcoin, we have this resistance at around 23.9K, which of course I mentioned in my last video. And basically how I'm looking at these levels of support and resistance are essentially if the price breaks below this level of support, for example, that is a signal telling us we're likely going to drop down to this next level of support. But on the flip side, if we see a confirmed break above resistance, that's likely telling us we're about to head up towards the next Next level of resistance. And in this case, if we see a confirmed break above that 23.9K resistance level here in the shorter term, then it's likely the price could continue up towards around 25K, which is the more significant level of resistance here on the daily time frame based on that previous high. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this right here is the 
daily ETH to US dollar chart. And as I mentioned in my last few videos, obviously the price is still running into this important range of resistance coming into play in between 1650 to 1.7K. So basically in that price range right there, there has already been a lot of sell pressure come into play. And obviously for those of you who have been watching these videos for the last few weeks would know that this price range at 1650 to 1.7K has obviously been a target of mine ever since this breakout down here at around 1340. And so now that the price has indeed hit that price target of mine and is running into heavy resistance while forming a bearish divergence on the daily time frame, these are obviously some signals here on the daily chart to remain somewhat cautious while we're still below this resistance. Now, if we start to see a confirmed break above 1.7K, then in that case, the next important resistance here on the daily time frame is sitting at around 1780 to 1.8K based on this previous high, just underneath 1.8K once again. But in terms of the trend, obviously the price is still forming higher lows and higher highs as of right now here on the daily time frame, which means obviously we are still in a bullish trend. So overall, I am still more bullish than bearish here on the daily time frame for the price of ETH, especially in terms of the trend. It's just we do have a few obstacles here to overcome before this bullish trend can continue on. And obviously, if we start to see more bearish reversal signals confirm here on the daily time frame, I'll be sure to mention them here in these videos and in real time over on my Twitter, link down below in the description. And now if you take a look at the eight hour ETH to US dollar chart, unlike Bitcoin on the eight hour time frame, there is actually a few signals here for ETH telling us that we're potentially invalidating this previous bearish divergence. Because obviously a bearish divergence is higher highs in the price and lower highs in the RSI. But what we've seen over the last one to two days is first of all, a breakout in the eight hour Ethereum RSI above this descending line of resistance. And on top of this breakout in the RSI, we have also just confirmed a higher high in the RSI, while the price action has also confirmed a higher high, which is no longer a divergence. And so basically what this means for the price of ETH is that the bulls are starting to regain control control again, because for a while here over the last one to two weeks, in the shorter term, the bears were starting to regain some control, putting some bearish pressure on the price after this bearish divergence confirmed. But now that we're beginning to see higher highs again in the price and also higher highs in the Ethereum RSI, once again, this is basically telling us that we're potentially moving out of that short term bearish phase and now starting to pick up a little bit more bullish momentum, potentially soon to continue the bullish trend, which we never really broke, but we obviously had a short-term pause from the bullish trend. And now if you take a look at the shorter term, looking at the three-hour ETH to US dollar chart, over the last one to two days, we've seen an initial breakout above this descending line of resistance right here, which is currently sitting at around 1630 to 1640. And obviously since this initial breakout, the price has come back down for a retest to to potentially further confirm the breakout. But obviously for this to be a successful retest, we need to hold this previous level of resistance as new support and actually see a proper bounce from that level. Because basically if the price confirms a break back below around 1630 with confirmation such as candle closes back below 1630, then that would essentially invalidate this breakout to the upside and invalidate this potential symmetrical triangle pattern. But but on the flip side, if the price holds this level as support and sees a successful bounce from this level right around here, then once again, that can further confirm this breakout to the upside and further confirm the potential price targets for this breakout for this symmetrical triangle pattern. And speaking of that technical price target, simply measuring out the price target, bringing it over to the breakout, that gives us a technical price target just underneath 1.8K. And obviously, 1.8K coincides with that next area of resistance that I just talked about here on the daily time frame. So this obviously means there are a few different things pointing towards around 1.8K, but once again, that price target relies on the price holding 1630 to 1640 as new support in the short term, because otherwise a confirmed break back below 1630 invalidates that price target and invalidates this pattern. And now if you want to know how to make money in crypto, no matter
matter what direction the price takes here, whether we confirm a break back below this level or confirm this breakout, or simply even just chop around sideways. Either way, you can make money in crypto by watching these videos popping up right here on your screen. Because the video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is either bullish or bearish, and the video in the bottom left shows you how to make money if the price is chopping around sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.